Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison on two microcurrent toning devices. They are the Myotone and the New Face. I was fortunate enough to be sent both of these devices by the companies. I received this one back in December, did a full testing on it, did a whole video on it, and then right after this one went up, a couple weeks later, New Face called and said, hey, do you want to try our product? And I was like, sure, I'd love to. So then I did a full 30 days of testing on this one, did the video on it. And can you guess what the number one question was below the video? Well, which one? <laughs> I saw you review this one, I saw you review this one, which one should I buy? So thank you guys for your patience in waiting for this video. I could have done this right away, but at the same time, I also received the brand new Clairsonic Smart Profile Uplift. And this, while it uses different technology, is supposed to do kind of the same thing as these guys. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do the comparison on this one. And then the number one question under that one's gonna be, well, what about the uplift? So I decided at that time that I would just wait another month, try this one, and then do all three in a video, which I just filmed. Now that I filmed it, it went on for so long and it was so convoluted trying to talk about all of these three that I'm just now thinking, maybe I'll leave the Clairsonic out for now and just have this video be a comparison of these two devices because they are like comparing apples to apples, where this is like, comparing two apples and then throwing in an orange. So I've only used it for a month. I feel like if I were to do a review on this right now, it would be too soon because they do recommend it, you using it for two to three months before you're gonna see results. It would have to be another month and a half out. And based on what I'm seeing in the pictures already, I don't really wanna use it for another month and a half, but I feel like I should just to give it the full vetting. But for now, I'm just gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison of these two. All right, so let's briefly go over what microcurrent is and why you might wanna use it in your skincare. Microcurrent has actually been used very safely for years and it has been studied for years for wound healing and for muscle healing. It really has not been researched for anti-aging per se, but there is a lot of anecdotal evidence. You know, you can go to a spa and get what they call an electric facelift um, that I guess a lot of the stars swear by. And so they take these probes and they shoot electricity through your skin and it gives you like a temporary kind of lifting effect. And that's what these two devices devices are supposed to do as well. Now obviously since they're an at-home device they use a much lower level of current and the way it's supposed to work is by exercising the muscles underneath the skin with a little bit of electrical current and so the current from these kind of mimics the current in your skin and they think it might cause the skin to actually produce a more of an energy protein giving the cells more energy so that they can do more of the things that they do to help the skin look younger. The Myotone retails for $279 normally. When I checked yesterday, it was at $259. And then I also have a 5% uh, discount code, which is Hot Flashy 5 So if you go over to Myotone and use my code, you get an additional 5% off. The new face, there are actually two different models of. I have the Trinity. This is $325. There's also a mini version of this that I believe has the exact same functionality and the exact same um, power and strength, but it just doesn't have the option of swap out the heads and it doesn't have the charging cradle but that one is $199. Moving on to the technology that each of them uses, the Myotone uses a square waveform for the microcurrent at 10 Hertz and between 300 and 480 microamps. This one has three settings. Um, the new face also uses a square waveform at 8 Hertz and it has five settings that allow you to toggle between 70 and 335 microamps. Looking at the time commitment for each one. The Myotone, if I did my entire face and including the two sides of my neck, it took about 20 minutes. If I leave out the neck, I could do it in about 10 minutes and use this once a day. I used it every day in the morning and I felt like the results with this one probably lasted a couple of days to a week. The new face I felt like was the quickest and easiest to use. It can take as little as five minutes a day or as much as 10 minutes a day. I used it in the morning 
every day. I did see results pretty quickly with this one as well. I feel like they last three days minimum, probably maybe up to about a week. As far as ease of use for each, with the microcurrent devices, you do have to put on conducting gel with either of them. So both of these you need a conducting gel for, which if you're not the kind of person who wants to wash your face, then put on conducting gel, then use the device, then rewash your face to get the conducting gel off, and then do your skincare, it just may be too much of a hassle for you to use every day. Once you have done like 30 days with each of these, you don't have to continue with it every day because the results will last a couple of days. So you can go back to maybe two to four times a week to maintain the results. I believe that they both come with an initial supply of conducting gel. Once I was out of it, I just purchased like a generic aloe gel at the drugstore and that's what I use with it now. All right, so now let's take a look at the before and after pictures. Oh, let me just give you my photo disclaimer. I take all these pictures in an at-home setting. I'm not an actual scientist, even though I like to talk about science a lot. I try to keep the lighting the same. I try to keep the angle of my face the same. I try to keep the expression on my face the same so that I can get as accurate as possible a look at what these devices can or cannot do for your skin. And of course, results will vary between me and you if you happen to buy one. I put the pictures up there so that you can decide for yourself if you think it's worth your money to try one of these things. And if you see like absolutely no difference in here, then that's fine with me. So in the first picture, this shows the before picture in the center, the results with new face on the left and the results with myotone on the right. What I notice most in both of these pictures is the difference in my um, sagging hooded eyelids. Now in the center picture, you can see that, especially in my eye that's on the right side of your screen, that eyelid is pretty much laying on my eyelashes. And in both the after with the myotone and the new face, it's more even with the other eye so that more of my eyelid is visible. And I like that lift that I get with both of these microcurrent devices. Um, I do feel like the myotone has the bigger lift compared to the new face. So if you're someone who has sagging hooded eyes. I would say between the two, I would definitely go with the myotone because I feel like that did help with the eyelids just a little bit more. So looking at this side view, I feel like the new face jawline is just a slightly more lifted than the myotone side. If you look at the cheek that's farther from the camera, I feel like the fullness on that cheek is better with the new face side than with the myotone side. The cheek that's closer to the camera, I'm getting more of that rounded cheek. Like I feel like there's a rounded shadow underneath the cheek on the new face side where on the myotone tone side it's flat over there more like it was in the original picture here's the other side view again I feel like the jawline on the new face side is a little more lifted than the jawline on the myotone side I feel like the cheek is a little bit more lifted on the new face side than on the myotone side and again the difference in the eyes so I feel like they both work and they were both a pleasure to use you know as you can see it is a subtle difference but it does work it does do a little bit of a something if you're looking for improvement from here up, I would go with the myotone. If you're looking for improvement from here down, I would go with the new face. And if you're looking for just kind of the whole face and the eyelids are not your biggest concern, I would probably go with the new face. As far as ease of use, I definitely prefer using the new face to the myotone. I feel like it's more comfortable to use. I very rarely feel the electrical current or um, any tingling or anything. With the myotone, it does have a much stronger current. And sometimes when I used it, if I put it on the highest setting, it could actually make my skin twitch on the surface that I could see it twitching. If you only want the absolute strongest product with the strongest electricity you can get, then definitely go for the myotone. But if you're someone who is bothered by the feeling of electrical pulses through your face, then you might want to go with the new face. I really do enjoy using the new face. And for me, that's the big thing is like, which one am I actually going to stick with? The difference between the two is basically that with the myotone, you have to count the seconds and then move it to a different location and with the new face it has the timer on it so that's why it makes it so much quicker and easier so every time it beeps you move it and you don't really have to think about it except to count 
oh, I did this three times, I did this three times, and then you move on. Where this one, you have to be counting to five seconds and then also counting how many times you have moved it in each location. So it gets to be a lot of stuff going on in your head, but you know, you can do it. It's not that hard, but just from an ease of use perspective, I definitely prefer the new face with the built-in timer. So let me know what you think about the Clairsonic, if you think I should continue using it, if you'd like to see a three month uh, before and after picture review on it, I can certainly do that. Um, even though I don't really want to. I don't enjoy using it. I don't like how it tugs at my skin, but I could continue. I'm a month and a half in, so that means I only would have another 45 days to use it. So that's the video for today, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. I hope it helped you to uh, make your decision about which of these devices you are going to buy, if you are going to buy one. So have a great day. Uh, thanks for your time, and I will see you next time. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.